Welcome back. Nickelodeon's animated series Dora the Explorer made its debut nearly 20 years ago and became an international success. That's right. Now she's headed to the big screen in the live action movie Dora and the Lost City of Gold. And Eva Longoria plays the role of Dora's mom. Good Eva, mom. good morning. Great good morning. to see you. Good to see you. So we want to talk about the movie in just a second, yeah. but we want to talk about the news this morning. You are mm -hmm. from the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. Obviously, what happened in El Paso on Saturday has touched you in a personal way. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I can't talk about it. Now as a mom, like everything makes me cry because I think about that could have been my child. That could have been my mother. My mother goes to Walmart three times a day. I mean, mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's always heartbreaking and horrifying, but it's inevitable. I, I mean, it, people think it's inevitable and it's not. Mm. We can change it. And I just hope that, um, that there's some real changes that are going to be made. You know, it really, when it happens in your hometown, your home state. But that's, I think that's the problem is people gets you. aren't really aggregating or getting outraged because it's not in their state or it's not their child or it's not their mom. But you have to think this was somebody's mom. Mm -hmm. It was, it is somebody's um, family members. It is somebody's friend. And so I just think, you know, it is a mental health problem. I get that. But it's also a gun problem. I know. Um, and being, sorry, being from Texas, too, I understand the Second Amendment. I grew up with you know, that environment. And it's not about about taking guns away. It's about making sure responsible people have them. Well, yeah. uh, we wanted to talk about it because I know your heart is with yeah. that community right now. We also have something happy to talk about, which is a mm -hmm. cool new movie, Dora the <laughs> yeah. Explorer. I mean, my the, like kids just love yeah. Dora. I can't mm -hmm. believe she's coming to live yeah. action. Yeah. And I was wondering to myself, like, how is this even possible? And we actually have a clip because oh. we got to see how this was brought to life. Yeah, it's not a cartoon. People think I'm doing the voice right. of her mother. But no, I, no, it's actually it's live, action. live action. So let's play a little clip and see. Honey, here's your satellite phone. Call us anytime, and you can track our coordinates on your map. But it's not the same. I'm an explorer, like you. Oh, honey, you have the whole world to explore. Go see it. Make friends. That's real exploring. But I don't know how. Yes, you do. Just be yourself, Dora. <laughs> That, you're Dora's mom. I'm Dora's mom. I, so, like, was it just an automatic yes when this came to it, you? Yes and no. Santi was just born, and so he was eight weeks old when they called, and I was like, where? Going to Australia, filming uh, the movie, and I was like, I can't I can't do it, and my husband was the one. There is Santi on set. Oh, look at um, him. And my husband was the one. I was like, of course you have to do this. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's so funny because I say I grew up with Dora, but she's only 20 years old. So I was like, <laughs> obviously, I didn't grow up with Dora, uh, but it, she's always been in my zeitgeist, and she's always been in, uh, you know, an important icon in, in the Latino community, but then I realized she was globally, and everybody knows her all over the world. Yeah. Well, that I have kids, and I hear backpack, Back, back in my sleep from yeah. growing up with Dora, and they love this franchise so much. And yeah. as you say, I didn't realize how big it was even outside mm -hmm. the U.S. This is truly yeah. global. When it was phenomenon. announced that I was going to be Dora's mom, my friends from London called, my friends from Germany called, and I was like, "How do how do you know who she is?" Um, she taught English in other countries. Right. Mm -hmm. So here in the United States, she taught Spanish. But um, it's really it's a fun movie. It's, a, it's I haven't I've never been in a movie where the whole family can go. Like, I'm right. finally yeah. in a movie that Santi will be able to watch eventually. <laughs> uh, but I've never been in a, in a, a, a movie where grandma, the, the comedy is for grandma and grandpa and mom and dad and the kids. And it's um, it's a fantastic. And the little girl who plays, Dora, little girl, she's a young lady, uh, who plays Dora, is nobody else could have done it. She she's adorable. is Dora. It's a, and it's a cute storyline. Tell me about motherhood, though. You, yeah. I mean... He just turned a year. Yeah. So, like, what's what's what are his tricks? What's he doing? Tell us <laughs> oh, <yeah>. everything. <laughs> he is walking. Oh, he's, he's walking. walking. He's walking. Yeah. He has, Ooh, he has way adapter. more teeth than that. He has like eight. Uh, eight. There he is. Oh. Yesterday. <laughs> um, he's funny and sweet and just um, shares everything. Wants to share his food with you. Wants to share his toys with you. He's. I'm really uh, lucky. Really blessed to have such an easy kid. You work so hard, and you always have the production company mm -hmm. and everything else. Mm -hmm. What does having a one-year-old do to your perspective on career and life? You know, there was nothing surprising. Everybody always asked me, what was the most surprising? Thing? Nothing surprising. There's so much information out there right. and every mom telling you yes. what to do <laughs> that there's Very nothing helpful. surprising. Yes. Very yeah. helpful. Uh, what was surprising was, I think, the anxiety I now have about the world mm. and, and about my philanthropy or my activism and, like, the... Um, 
there's an intensity to it now. Like, oh my God, I have to leave the world a better place. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do to fix this? What are we going to do to fix that? And so that has given me a lot of, a um, lot more fuel for, for my fire and philanthropy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The stakes are so much higher. And I always felt like when I had my kids, it was like I, that old phrase, your heart goes walking around outside, outside your, your body. body. And yeah. it's like, it's so true. You so feel true. kind of so exposed because yeah. you care so much. Yeah, and I was talking to my mom, and I said, and I was like, I'm just so nervous about the world he's going to have with the technology and the iPhone and the social media. And she goes, I was nervous when you were born yeah. about the yes. world you were being born in. So I right. guess that anxiety never stops as a parent. It's generational, and it'll always be around, and I guess we figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> we do. We hold hands, and we figure it out. Yeah. Eva, thank you so much for thank being you. with us. And Great to giving see us something you. to smile about on a hard day. Congratulations on the film. It's Dora and the Lost City of Gold, and it hits theaters this Friday. Eva, by the way, will be back on the fourth hour with the new Dora herself. Oh, yeah, we'll get to meet her.